Hello everyone and welcome to Not Your Perfect Yogi channel. Today is day 4 of the 21 days yoga for weight loss challenge and today we are going to focus on the glutes, so on the booty. <laughs> so um, without further ado let's get into this. Let's start by warming up uh, with one sun salutation. Let's just kick start it easily with only one sun salutation. Uh, B this time. So, lowering down into our chair. This is a good opportunity for us to start engaging those glutes, but to also start engaging the belly muscles. So, straight back, engaged core. Arms are lifting up towards the ceiling, and we're looking at our palms. You can bring them together if it feels comfortable. Let's just spend two more breaths here. And then let's exhale, touch the floor, bend the knees as much as you need to in order to be able to touch the floor. Inhale, lift up halfway to your fingertips. Exhale, step back to plank and lower down. Inhale, look up. Exhale, downward. Facing dog. Wiggle the feet as much as you need to. It's the first downward dog. And from here, let's just start engaging those glutes a bit uh, by lifting the right leg up. Lift it as high, as high as it goes, as high, 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 high. And when you cannot lift it anymore, maybe just bend it towards the right side and push it towards the right, uh, towards the left. Holding it here. Two more breaths. And bringing it to the elbow and lifting it again <laughs> and bringing it to the elbow and lifting it again and the last time bring it to the elbow and lift it and this time from there we're just going to take it up and bring it all throughout to <laughs> the top of the mat between our palms for a warrior one. Left foot is 45 degrees in. We're squaring the hips towards the front. We're going 90 degrees with the knee. Palms are lifting up and we're looking at our palms. We're breathing here. Engaging the belly. Working the legs working, also maybe the glutes by going slightly lower down this position. Slightly maybe bending the back towards the back of the room. And from here, let's put the palms on the floor or here and let's do what we usually don't do, let's just jump back into plank, lift up, exhale, downward facing dog, and let's play with the left leg here. So, lifting the left leg up as high as it gets, with having the hips still squared towards the front, and then maybe bending it towards the right side, Bringing it slightly further up through rotating the hip outwardly. And let's bring it to the elbow and bring it back up. Let's bring it to the elbow back up and one last time elbow and back up and from here bringing the left foot between our palms to the front of the mat right foot steps 45 degrees in or lifting up or squaring the hips or lowering down and lifting the palms up Engaging the core and looking up. 
maybe slightly go a bit lower down. So we're working the glutes. If you're like me, you're probably starting to warm up. <laughs> That's a good sign. Breathing. And palms go down. And we're going to jump to plank. Lower down. Inhale up. And downward facing dog. A few deep breaths here. Maybe go into child's pose again. Just relaxing for a moment. Okay, so from child's pose, lifting up to a plank position and from here we're going to just do a bit of knee to either elbow. We're working the core, we're working the glutes, we're working the legs. Keep going. Let's say six more, so three on either side. One, two, three, four, five, and six. And lower it down, look up, and downward facing dog. From downward dog here, we're going to step the right foot between our legs again. And we're going to come to a warrior two position, lifting the arms up and lowering a bit more down into the pose, looking towards the right palm in front and breathing. Make sure your shoulders are loose, so relaxed. I got a prop with me for the next position, so in case you don't have it, try to work with a big book that might help you. So from here, we're going to come slightly closer in with the left leg and we're going to start lifting up on the right leg. The left leg is lifting up. We can keep our arms on the floor we want to with squared hips or if we feel very comfortable we can lift the palms up. In a warrior free position and breathing here. This is that one point where I see, said we need the prop otherwise you can try to do it with your hands on the floor but if you have a big book just place it on the outer side of your right leg, maybe standing. And let's do a little exercise of turning into a half moon towards the front of the room. Do you feel that leg working, the right leg? This is a challenging pose, even for me. <laughs> um, so it might be harder to do without the prop, but I tell you, any book that's stable enough and thick or a brick, a real brick, will work. Try to release that left arm. Sometimes it gives you a bit more stability. And let's just bring it all the way down. Bring that left foot back down, palms on the floor. Plank, down, inhale up, exhale, downward facing dog. <sighs> Anytime you need a child's pose in between to relax, do that. 
Otherwise, let's just step the left foot to the front. I'm going to do a warrior two from this position. I hope you can see it. So lifting the palms up, looking at the palm in front of you, maybe going slightly lower down so you feel that glute really working. These sessions are getting a bit more challenging as I hope you're getting stronger with them, but it's only 20 minutes, so anyone can do them. Okay, so palms on the floor, coming closer, straighten that left leg, lift the right leg as high as it gets. Stay here down with the palms if it feels good for you, otherwise try to lift up. Oh. Losing my balance here a bit. And slowly releasing, bringing the brick on your left side, trying to make it stable there. Maybe bring it a bit towards the front. And let's try to turn towards the right side. Hip release that palm if it feels comfortable. And going down here, placing that left foot down on the floor and coming, looking up and downward facing dog. Maybe a few squats here if you can. Just lower down to the floor, almost knees touching the floor. Then lifting up, knees touching the floor, and then lifting up. It's very good for the back, knees floor, lifting up. One more time, knees down, and lifting up. And from here, let's go to seated, left foot to the right, right foot to the left. And let's just take a few moments to relax in Dandasana. Gathering our breath again. Looking at the toes, engaged belly muscles, engaged pelvic muscles, and neck looking down. From here, coming down on our backs, first for a bridge position, and then if we can do it, a wheel, otherwise two times of bridge should be just great for us. So, feet slightly apart, we're barely touching the heels here with our palms, and we're engaging the core and the bum muscles, and we're lifting them up. Imagine having a brick between those two legs. You want them to be parallel to hold that brick. Interlace the palms behind your sit bones <laughs> and engage that bum up. And let's count to 10 together here. So one, two, three, four, Five, six, seven, eight, nine, 
and 10 and release so if you feel comfortable with this position just try to do it again so again bridge just lift up hold the brick there otherwise if you're practicing wheel this is more for the advanced one so don't try wheel if you're not normally doing it but you can just lift yourself up slowly into a wheel feet still parallel Two more breaths here. And slowly releasing. Coming down. Bringing the feet to your chest. Maybe wrapping the, grabbing the opposite elbow and just massaging your lower back. Going from the right to left, left to right. And now let's just relax into a happy baby pose. So grabbing the big toes and again, maybe swinging to either side. This is the moment where we usually sit and think of one good thing that has happened today that we're grateful for, but you can do this also from this position so just close your eyes for a second and think of that one positive thing one nice chat one good coffee one kiss one I love you <laughs> one statement of joy and happiness from yourself or from someone you care about and bring it into the present moment make it big Okay, so releasing the legs, maybe put them together, put soles together, palms over your head, inhale, look up, and exhale, close your eyes, and just relax here for a few moments. Make this your Shavasana, close your eyes and don't think of anything anymore. I'll see you tomorrow for day five <laughs> i hope you enjoyed today's workout if you want to do a bit more do a bit of the previous days as well otherwise you did a great job already <laughs> see you soon